Hello, Maddie, aka Hello Interloper here. Today I will be filming and timing my two different Giants Keep B10 groups. And um, I'll see which one's faster. And also, hopefully, this will provide a little bit of insight on what a Giants B10 team comp should look like. Um, I will start off by saying that I am not a quote end game player. A lot of people throw around terms like early game, mid game, end game. By most people's standards, endgame means you've already beaten Trial of Ascension 100, you're working on Trial of Ascension hard, and you're probably uh, in Arena Conqueror Plus, or at least can reach that level. I'm by no means endgame. I have been able to beat Giants B10, Dragons B10, and I'm just starting to build up a, uh, what is it called? Necro Team. Not very far in building that yet. Still have a lot of five stars. So uh, this is my first team, and it consists of, as you see, Bernard as the leader. Bernard is Wind Griffin, of course, and increases the attack power of ally monsters with wind attribute by 30%. The reason why I have him as leader on this team is because it's very support heavy. Um, then I have Briand, which is the Wind Death Knight. I use him as a reviver and also for the AoE stuns because I have despair on him and uh, also the attack debuff and um, don't really need the healing debuff for giants but he does have that. Uh, immunity, I have Delphoi and also a little bit of healing and uh, Shannon, I have her at 5 stars just because she doesn't really have that much utility outside of giants. I don't use her for any other thing. Like, I don't use her for guild battles. I don't use her for arena. I don't use her for travel ascension. I pretty much just use her for giants, so she stays at five stars. As long as she survives, and mostly, if she doesn't survive, Brienne just ends up reviving her, so it doesn't really matter. And then, of course, I have it rounded out with Belladion as an AoE healer, and for defense break, and uh, buff removal, and so on and so forth. So, I am going to start the timer. And I got a little stopwatch app over here. And we are starting. And I do not have a 100% success, 100 success rate here. So, um, hopefully it will go through. Alright, so I have this on auto times three. So, here we go. And unfortunately, I am lagging. You know, I've tried everything, closed all the programs. It's just, it is what it is. Because it is being streamed from my phone onto my computer screen. Uh, by the way, kind of throwing a few names here, the program that I use for this is called Reflector. I don't know if you guys watch any of uh, Jew Bagel's uh, videos, but that's what he uses. And it does cost $15 to gain a license for it. I uh, was using the free trial I really like it. I mean, right now there's no better way how to record it, especially because you can easily mirror it on an Android onto your computer, but when it comes to iPhones like I have, you gotta look for different ways, and BlueStacks is not compatible with Summoner's War. You can try booting it up, it's gonna crash. Um, they specifically made it so you cannot make new accounts on uh, Blue Stacks and can't play Summoner's War on Blue Stacks, which absolutely sucks because I loved Blue Stacks back for uh, filming Blood Brothers, Rage of Bahamut, all of that stuff. But unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. So Reflector is my new best friend. And I mean, it works pretty well. So, uh, yeah, here we go. I'm. Everything seems to be working pretty well so far. No one's died. Although, you know, don't really have to worry about that too much with Brienne. And um, in case you've never seen Brienne in action, uh, his revive is actually pretty darn interesting because it's not just a revive. He evens out the HP of everybody. And then if you have an AoE healer, he, they can bring everybody back up to where they're supposed to be. So um, this team works pretty pretty nicely. They have a good synergy going. So uh, we've hit two minutes and we are at the middle. So that's really not too bad. I mean a lot of people once they do get to endgame are able to do crazy speed runs. Unfortunately I'm not at that point yet. I'm just trying to survive and get to the end. So uh, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much where I'm at. So this support group, support based group, a lot of buffs 
immunity, you know, attack up, defense up. So it kind of makes up for the fact that these guys are all pretty uh, weak on their own. And of course the uh, wind attack buff uh, for the leader buff does help a bit. Um, and also I, I should probably note that, of course, everybody here who is, you know, three stars, two stars, you know, Belladion, Bernard, Shannon, they're all fully skilled up. Brienne has some of his stuff skilled up. Delphois, as far as I know, doesn't have any skill ups. But they work pretty well anyway. Ooh, Shannon is pretty low here, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Oh, and now Shannon's okay again. And now she's almost dead. But that's okay. Uh, the nice thing about this build is that it's pretty easy to put together. I mean, the only ones that you'll probably have trouble getting are Brienne and Delphois. Because, uh, of course, they're Nat 4s. And they could easily be replaced. Oh! Shannon is down! Here comes Supply. Everybody's all evened out. And everything's good again. So, uh, as you can see, I'm also not using any targeting. This is full auto. Uh, I'm not targeting the crystals first, which is usually, if you can't auto giants, you want to kill the crystals first. Now, I just go straight for the throat here when I'm killing the giant. I don't kill any of the crystals first. I just try to kill him as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, he's got a lot of Dia buffs on. He's got the glancing hits from Shannon. He's got the slowdown from Shannon. The attack break from Brienne. Uh, the defense break and attack break from Bernard, defense break from Belladion. It's a whole wonderful mess of debuffs, so the giant isn't really doing too much damage. And as you can see, Bernard barely takes any damage at all. It's really nice having him six stars. You know, you don't have to have him six stars because his main function is to speed up your team. But when you do six star him and you have some good HP and defense runes, you know, defense subs usually, um, mainly HP, percent, and of course speed. He can be a real killer. I actually love using Bernard together um, with uh, Tyron, Tyrone, however you say it, uh, Water Sylphs, uh, what is it called, a speed leader. Then I use Bernard, and then I use Chloe, so I have a super speedy guild team just hitting like crazy. <laughs> That's my uh, new favorite guild team. And as you can see, oh no, I have two guys down, but it doesn't matter because he's almost dead and my speedy team is able to take him down. So he is down and now we stop the clock. Five minutes and pretty much 30 seconds. And we're all done. So that's my first team and uh, let's go See, what did I get? Huh, okay, energy rune that doesn't have HP percent on it. That's... Eh. You know, I'm just going to keep it just because it has that 5 speed on it. I'm probably never going to use it, though. <laughs> probably down the line I'm going to end up selling it. So now my second team. I put Vero, a speed leader, Belladion, then I put... Bernard, Dolphois, and then Shannon. Where are you? There you are. Alright, so honestly, it's really not that much different, although I do have, uh, what's his name? Veramos, or Vero, as the leader. And uh, the continuous damage is pretty darn useful as far as taking down the giant's HP goes. The only thing is I do not have a reviver, so uh, sometimes Shannon will die, and... Uh, it's usually a hit or miss there. Alright, so I'm going to start it up, and I'm going to start up the timer again. And let's see how long this will take. So, alright, starting. And uh, the only problem about this team is, uh, of course, yes, the lack of the reviver. But everybody does have more HP, so that means Shannon is a lot less vulnerable. Because Shannon just really doesn't have that great HP. And I got a lot of 5 stars that need to be turned into 6 stars, and Shannon really is not at the top of my list. I can just uh, pretty much use my other team if I'm really scared of her dying. So, uh, as you can see, it's kind of going a little faster. 
probably because of Vero. Uh, I do have Veromos fully scaled up, so he's got a lot more, um, what is it called, uh, bigger chance to put his debuffs on, whether it's the stun or the uh, continuous damage. He's got his cooldown reduced for the crazy stomp, and uh, I do have Violent Blade on him. I know that's not exactly a normal Veramos build, but unfortunately I didn't have good focus runes because at the time I could not get past, I think, Dragon 6 or 7. I mean, that was a while ago when I fused Veramos. So I just slapped on some really good blade runes, and you know, he's been okay. You know, no complaints. I, I have a little bit less of a chance to stun and put on continuous damage, but the damage kind of makes up for it with the critical hits. It is what it is. Later I'll rerune him, but right now he's serving me just fine. So we're at the halfway point right now, and uh, about a minute and 40 seconds has passed. So it seems like we are actually moving a lot faster with this build. Although, of course, I guess there's a little bit of less security because we don't have a reviver here. Someone dies, they're dead. And, um... It's funny, you know, the leader skill can really change everything. But one thing I also would like to mention is the fact that I do have buildings. Um, I don't have all of them maxed, of course. Uh, a lot of them are only at level 2. But uh, the glory point buildings are great because they apply to everything. They apply to guild battles. They apply to dungeons. They apply to Trial of Ascension. They're just really, really useful. Um, a lot of people in my guild argue that it is the single most important thing in the whole entire game is getting those buildings and it's kind of sad because I see a lot of people saying oh I've saved up all these mystical scrolls and elemental scrolls that I got from glory points and I kinda just wanna slap them in the face and go why did you waste your glory points on that when you can get buildings which is a permanent buff to all of your guys you know wherever you're using them and of course, when you first buy a building, it's really not that big of a buff. You know, it's like 2% to attack or something. But it really does build up. And the best part is the speed building. I'm telling you, the speed building makes such a huge difference once you have it leveled up. Uh, I don't have it fully leveled, but, I mean, it turns a speed team in guild battles or arena into a force to be reckoned with. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, Shannon's got her glancing hits on, and now we will see a little bit less damage being taken here. Um, so pretty much we have the same debuffs on, uh, although we do have that continuous damage, which is nice, but we don't have that security of a revive. So hopefully we can get this guy down pretty quickly. I mean, the continuous damage takes away 5% of his HP, every time it ticks, so that is quite nice. Alright, wow, this is going down a lot quicker than I thought it would. And uh, right now we're over a minute faster. Alright, time has stopped and it was 4 minutes and 9 seconds. So, those were both of my uh, Giants teams, and by no means are they super fast speed teams, but they work and the success rate is fairly high. Um, just make sure you have good runes. I mean, Shannon works great with Swift. You can put Despair on her if you need that extra stun. I have Despair on her because I do love that security of an extra stun when she uses uh, Decelerate. And uh, Delphoa, I have her as Violent Blade because if she does uh, use her basic attack, and crits, um, I believe she puts a slowdown on the enemy. So, extra debuff, always great. And, of course, the violent procs are very important uh, if you want to get some extra immunity up as fast as possible. And uh, Belladion, you know, a lot of people put violent on Belladion. I have swift on Belladion, you know? It's really not that bad. I will eventually switch her, him, whatever, the wolf, over to Violent. Uh, but for now, Swift is working just fine. You don't need to 
go crazy. You just need good quality runes that have the attributes that really work. Mostly for support, you need HP. You need HP for pretty much anything. But, you know, if you want to put a nuker in your team, you could go ahead and do that if you have good enough support. Really, there's so many different ways how to build a Giants team. But hopefully this will have given you some inspiration on how to build your own, or maybe it'll make the difference, you know? Maybe you saw this and you're like, oh, maybe I should uh, build a Shannon or a Bernard or something, or maybe I finally have a use for Delphois or Briand, you know? And, you know, there we go, it works. So, um, next I'll be making a video about my Dragon's B10 team, which is not as polished, so make sure you look out for that, and uh, it'll probably be, probably be very slow. <laughs> so, uh, it'll be a long video. Sorry. A lot more blabbering on my part. Alright, until next time, and good luck, everyone.